The wind was blowing very hard in Toyland. Noddy's washing just did not want to be pegged onto the line. Do stop playing about! If you won't hang on the line, you'll never get dry. Oh! What shall I do with this peg? Oh, I know. Hello, Noddy. Tessie Bear, how lovely to see you. What a lot of eggs you have. I have to take them to the farm gate to leave them on Mr Straw's milk churn. Then milkman can pick them up and sell them. I was hoping you would take me there in your car. Of course I will. As soon as I've hung up my washing. <laughs> Why are you wearing a peg on your nose? Am I? Oh, yes. You have to keep pegs somewhere until you're ready to use them, you know. Oh, what's the matter? I've just had a wonderful idea. It's such a lovely windy day. We could take a picnic and fly my red kite in Mr Straw's field. There. Now I can help you fly your kite. Hurry, Tessie. The kite's longing to fly. It'll pull so hard we'll both have to hold the string. I'm ready. Here it goes! Whee! Fly, kite! Fly! High up in the sky! Fly, kite! Fly! Oh, Noddy, this is such fun! Hold tight, Tessie! It's going up in the clouds! Look out, kite! You'll bump your head! How will we have our picnic holding on to this string? We'll tie it to something and then the kite won't be able to fly away. Oh, Noddy, you are clever. Hmm. What shall we tie the string to? The milk churn's heavy. We could tie the string to its handle. Come on! There. Now we can have our picnic. Very windy. Come on, let's fly the kite again. <gasps> Tessie, what's the matter? Look! Stop! Stop! Stop, Churn! Stop! Come back at once! <gasps> oh, Noddy! Come down here! How dare you fly away with Tessie's eggs? Come on, Noddy. Let's get into your car and follow the churn. Well, we can easily see it flying through the air. What fine goods you sell, Dinah doll. Oh, I just felt a spot of rain. It's not raining over here. Oh, it's raining here. <laughs> it's not raining here. I don't believe it's raining at all. It must be raining. Look, <laughs> there's a puddle. But it's a white puddle. That looks like milk to me. It can't be milk. It tastes like milk. So it must be raining milk. <laughs> oh, dear me. Someone's dropped an egg on my head. Out of the sky? There must be a bird up there, laying eggs. Birds don't lay eggs when they're flying. They lay them in nests. <laughs> oh, I say. Somebody's laid an egg on your head, Jumbo. Oh! I'm sorry about that, Mr. Beetle. Now then, what's going on here? I'm afraid I have to report, Mr. Plod, that it's raining eggs and milk. Raining eggs and milk? <laughs> really, Mr. Tubby? <laughs> what nonsense! <laughs> How amusing! <laughs> eggs and milk! <laughs> Whatever next! <laughs> Whoa! Ooh. Ooh. Oh, dear me. What happened? You fell down, Mr. Plod. You slipped on a broken egg. It must have fallen out of the sky, <laughs> like all the others. Yes. <sighs> well, 
This is very serious. Nobody must move until I decide what to do. Oh, uh, Mr. Plod. Yes, yes, what is it? I'm busy deciding things. I have to report a missing milk churn. It's disappeared from the farm gate. Oh, oh dear. dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's the only one Mr. Straw's got, so he's offering a reward of one pound for anyone that finds it. A reward? A whole pound? Has anyone seen a milk churn? It's no good, Tessie. We've lost them. That milk churn has flown off with your eggs. Ooh. Oh, well done, Noddy. You found my basket. And there's the milk churn. We must take it straight back to Mr Straw. Oh, the milk's gone. Oh, dear. He'll be so angry with us. We must do this properly, Tessie. That churn is lost property, so we must take it to Mr Plod first. Then he can give it back to Mr Straw. And Mr Straw can tell Mr Plod how angry he is. Then Mr Plod can tell me. Oh, but I shan't tell you. You're so brave and kind, Noddy. Thank you. <coughs> I am to make an announcement about the reward of one pound for information. <laughs> Noddy, he's got Mr. Straw's milk churn. Oh, my <laughs> Where did you find that milk churn, Noddy? It fell out of the sky. There's a reward of a pound for finding it. A whole pound? But what was a milk churn doing in the sky? It was flying. Tessie and I were flying my red kite in Mr. Straw's field, and when we had our picnic, we tied the kite string to his milk churn, and the kite pulled so hard on its string that it lifted the churn up into the air, with my basket of eggs on top. So the milk churn and the eggs must have flown over the market square. And that must be why we had the rain of milk and eggs. <laughs> oh, thank you, Noddy. <coughs> uh, there's a reward for that information. An egg fell on Mr. Wobbly Man. <laughs> <laughs> and another egg fell on Jumbo. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Plod slipped up on another egg. <laughs> yes, 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 it wasn't all that funny. Someone could have been hurt. <laughs> and what are you giggling at? I'm giggling because Tessie and I are going to get two rewards. I don't know about that, young man. I want you to take that milk churn back to Mr. Straw and pay him for all the milk he's lost. Yes, all right, I will. But we'll still have one reward, and as soon as you give it to me, I shall go to the cafe and buy Tessie an ice cream. Ooh. And you can come too, Mr. Plod. I think we would. How kind. <clears throat> I'll get your reward right away. <laughs> It had been a busy day in Toyland. Noddy was looking forward to his tea. If there's one thing I like, it's a boiled egg. If there are two things I like, they'd both be boiled eggs. I say... Hello, Noddy. It's me, Sly the Goblin. Don't walk straight in like that. Please use the knocker on the door. All right. That's far too loud. I already knew you were there. What do you want? I want you to take me to a party tonight in the dark wood. I don't know that I want to. I'll give you a bag of sixpences. Sixpences? A bag of sixpences? If you bring me home again, I'll give you two bags of sixpences. Two bags of sixpences? I shall be rich. Yes, I'll take you. It's a bit dark. I wish I hadn't come. I don't really want to be rich. Where's this party of yours? <laughs> don't make that silly noise. You can stop here. Where are the voices and the music? Where is the party? <laughs> Hello, Noddy. Yours the party. Gobbo, is it your party? That is right. <laughs> Get out of your car. 
When do we start dancing? No, we won't start dancing. In fact, this party is a trick. What sort of trick? We want to use your car for ourselves. You bad, wicked goblins! That's stealing! We're only borrowing your car. It's the only way we can have a ride. Goblins aren't allowed to have cars. I should think not, if this is how you behave. I like your hat, Noddy. <laughs> I think I'll borrow that as well. No, not my hat. Leave me my hat. <laughs> Move over, slime. <laughs> I want to drive. Oh. <laughs> 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 Oh, help. Help! I shouldn't have come to the dark wood. I'd really hate to be rich. If I wasn't so cross, I should cry. Is there nobody who can help me? I'm all alone and lost. Where am I? I know this house. It's Big Ears' house. Who's there? Big Ears. Oh, Big Ears. It's Noddy. Please come and let me in. <sighs> what a terrible tale. Oh, there, Noddy. A nice mug of cocoa. Big Ears, you're so kind. You've had a shock. You must sit under that blanket till you feel better. Thank you. Mm, those goblins. I am shocked, Noddy. Shocked. Then you must sit under a blanket till you feel better. No, I'm too angry. <sighs> I shall go to see Mr. Plod, the policeman. He'll try to get back your car and your hat. I shall cycle into town right away and tell him what's happened. You must be careful. <laughs> there won't be anyone awake at this time of night. <laughs> Oh, be quiet! Someone shut <laughs> that dog up! Dear me, what is that awful noise? <laughs> oh, it's you, pumpy dog! <laughs> Got you, my lad. <laughs> I'll take you back home to Tessie Bear first thing tomorrow. <laughs> Funny place to have a rest, Mr. Plod. I'm not having a rest. I'm arresting this dog. Ah, you should arrest the goblins. They've stolen Noddy's car and his hat. Where did this happen? In the dark wood. <laughs> I'll help you find them. Thank you. And this dog had better come and help. No sign of the goblins, Mr. Plod. Nope. And that dog's run off again. Oh! oh do calm down, bumpy dog. <laughs> he, he wants to play. Here, catch this stick. Perhaps we should have, um, have a rest. Hmm. And make a plan. Hmm. No. What plan shall we make? What's that noise? Oh, is it that silly dog again? Who hey, what? I don't think there was a bell on that stick. That's Noddy's bell. On Noddy's hat. <laughs> what a splendid dog. <laughs> He's found Noddy's hat. So... That's our plan. <laughs> Bumpy Dog can show us where he found the hat. <laughs> they must have dropped the hat just here. Those goblins are asleep. Yes. In the hollow tree. <laughs> No, we must all be very <coughs> quiet. Who's out there? Uh, ah! We've been found. Come on, Sly. Come back here, you two. 
<laughs> oh, dear. Come on, big ears. We'll have to find them in the dark. <laughs> Come back here, you old hat goblins! Well done, Bumpy Dog. If you caught them, well, I helped as well, you know. It must be morning. My big ears isn't home yet. And I still haven't got my hat or my car. My car! Oh, my car! <laughs> Good morning, Noddy. <laughs> we found your car. Oh, Big Ears, thank you. Thank you. Oh, you should thank Bumpy Dog. <laughs> oh, Bumpy <laughs> Dog. Oh, thank you. What a good dog you are. Well, I'll be taking these goblins off for a good talking to. Come along, Bumpy oh. Dog. <laughs> Well, Noddy, would you like breakfast? <laughs> we could have uh, a boiled egg. Thank you, Big Ears. Perhaps we could have two boiled eggs. It was a beautiful morning in Toyland. Noddy was looking forward to a busy day, driving passengers to and fro in his little car. Good morning, car. Milko. Milko. Good morning, Mr. Milko. Isn't it a lovely day? It may be a lovely day for you, Noddy. It's a sad one for me. A sad day? I've lost my special watch. The one the dairy gave me for delivering milk every day for years and years. Oh, dear. Well, I shall look for your watch wherever I go. Oh, thank you. If anyone finds it... I shall give them a reward of sixpence. Then I shall look very hard. Would you like to ring my bell? That always cheers you up. <laughs> Thank you, Noddy. That's really cheered me up. <laughs> oh, where is he? Where is that taxi? Ah, oh, taxi! Oh, good morning, Pink Cat. Where would you like to go? Take me to the station, driver. My name's Noddy. How much do you charge, driver? Every journey is six months. Will you put your tail inside the car, please? Oh, all Oof. right. But do start or I shall miss my train. <laughs> oh, do please put your tail back. It's my tail and I shall do what I like with it. I wish cats would look after their tails. I would if I had a tail. <laughs> All aboard! All aboard! <laughs> Just in time. Oh, no. My tail's gone. It must have fallen out of your car. I told you not to leave it hanging around. <gasps> and now I feel so giddy. <laughs> quick, quick. You'll miss your train. Uh, can I have my fare, please? Your fare? Your fare? I'm not paying you money. You owe me money. Sixpence for a new tail. And if you don't pay me sixpence, I shall report you to Mr. Plod, the policeman. Good morning. But it's not a good morning after all. Instead of earning money, I owe the pink cat sixpence for a new tail. Good morning, Noddy. Can you take me into town, please? I've got to open my market stall. Yes, I'll take you. Oh, but you'll have to pay me sixpence. Oh, yes, of course. Will you strap my bag onto the back of your car? 
I haven't got a strap, but we'll balance it and watch it very carefully. Good morning, Dino Doll. <laughs> It's a beautiful car, Noddy, but it doesn't go very fast. It can go faster. Then please make it faster. I don't want to be late. Faster, please, faster! <laughs> you see? My car does go quite fast. Oh, your bag! It's gone! Oh, Noddy, that really is very careless. My special blue purse is in that bag. I'll look for it. You'll have to. I can't pay you your sixpence, you know. In fact, if you don't find my bag, you'll have to pay me sixpence. Oh, dear. That's the second passenger who hasn't paid me anything. Now I owe Dinah doll sixpence as well. I really must find that bag and Pink Cat's tail. <coughs> I can't find the bag or the tail. I need a friend to help me. Hello, Noddy. Why are you crawling along the road? Have you forgotten how to walk? Oh, Big Ears, you're my friend. Yeah, I know that. I've had two passengers, but they haven't paid me any sixpences. And I've lost a bag and a fluffy tail, so I've got to pay them sixpences. What shall I do? Hmm. Let me think. Um, <laughs> when you've lost something and you can't find it, that usually means someone else has found it. So we must go back to town and look out for someone with a new bag or a fluffy tail. Oh, yes. Let's go now. Or have you thought of any more? Nope. That's a lot. Oh, hello, Dinodol. You're looking smart, Martha. Yeah, I know. It's my beautiful new pink scarf. Where did you get it? Oh, it, uh, it just came my way. You're lucky. You've got a new scarf, but I've lost my bag. How silly of you. <laughs> Bye! Is... Is that the one? Yes. That's Pink Cat's tail. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy wearing it as a scarf. Martha Monkey, that is not your scarf. Yes, it is. I, uh, I found it. That is Pink Cat's tail. <gasps> then she shouldn't leave it lying around. <laughs> if you don't give it back, She'll scratch you with her sharp claws. Uh, will she? And she'll hiss at you. Yes, that's just the sort of horrid thing she'd do. Anyway, it's much too warm to wear a scarf. Oh, thank you, Big Ears. <laughs> now to find Dinah Doll's bag. We must look very carefully around. Oh, yeah, Mr Sparks. <laughs> I'm going on holiday <laughs> with me beautiful new bag, yeah. Lots of people go on holiday with bags like this, so uh, I thought I would too. The only thing is, uh, uh, I don't know how to open the bag. Please, allow me. Oh! <laughs> I thought so. Dinah Doll's special blue purse. Ah! <laughs> that clockwork mouse, he's always taking things that don't belong to him. Look. He's dropped something else. A watch. A watch? The milkman's lost his watch. What time does it say? Um, uh, <laughs> six o'clock. Why? That's the very time Mr Milko starts his round. It must be his watch. I'll give it back to him first thing tomorrow. But now I can give Dinah Doll her bag and Pink Cat her tail. Oh, thank you, Big Ears. Milko! Milko! Good morning. No, it's not. But it is. Yesterday, I lost Dinah Doll's bag and Pink Cat's tail, but Big Ears and I found them again, and they were so pleased they each gave me two sixpences. So today, we're going to have a huge tea party. Oh, good. And we found something else. Oh! 
My watch! Oh, Noddy, you are clever. <laughs> I shall give you two sixpences as well. Oh, we shall have an enormous tea party. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'd love to ring your little bell. All right, Mr Milko. <laughs> Carry on. Thank <laughs> you. 